Riverside Middle School. It's a beautiful facility. I often describe it as an oasis where it is because uh, if you're driving in from uh, the, the city, you can see that um, there are, our communities are separated. You know, there's a lot of space in between a lot of land. Just a stone's throw away from the, the um, border and um, that makes it very special. So this is a very modern and contemporary uh, school. The most, I think, exciting feature about it as a former English teacher when I walked in is that the library is right in the middle. So the first thing you see when you come in, we call it the Bermuda Triangle, but um, the library, those, those three sides to the library, open it to and make it accessible to all the grade levels. And um, we have a real nice area for the students to come in and, and pick up a book and read and meet and talk. And so it's very accessible, very inviting. We really pride ourselves in being strong in the three areas of arts, athletics, academics. Academics first, of course. Academically, we have a really strong UIL. Um, in particular this year, we received a trophy for our eighth grade performance. Um, and uh, we're expanding and getting better every year. We have a very strong um, group of UIL teachers. So this year, our UIL team competed in two separate events. We did the local, and we did one in Los Fresnos. And so it's the first time that our three middle schools united to do a district invitational here, and that was our sixth, seventh, and eighth graders. Well, very proudly, Riverside has increased their number of wins over the past five years. They brought home a, a team trophy, which is the first that we've had for our campus. And um, athletically, we have a lot of um, recent uh, titles that we got under our belt, so we're pretty proud of that. Like, just this past weekend, our soccer team took first place, so um, we're very proud of them and, and their accomplishment. Uh, Coach Vialpando is our athletic coordinator and he does a wonderful job. Uh, the kids are very, um, they're very connected to athletics um, in general. Um, so we have the UIL for academics, athletics, and then our arts program is also expanding greatly. Uh, so we have a fantastic group of musicians and uh, we have our band, our, our choir, our conjunto. And I was very fortunate to attend some of the concert that, concerts that they put on recently. Um, we've also had a lot of accolades in those areas as well. What is unique about Riverside, I think it's its overall strength that um, we do well in all three areas, academics, athletics, and arts. We're implementing two main initiatives at our campus this year. Both of them are with respect to improving our student achievement. First one uh, is ICLE. This is based on the research of William Daggett, and we have had a consultant come. We go into the classrooms and see um, how the teachers are implementing technology in a way that uh, pushes the curriculum to a deeper level of engagement and rigor. Teachers have been trained, and what we're looking at is, um, can they connect the skills to the real world? Are the students able to see the application of what they're learning in the classroom when they go outside into the real world? So a lot of the skills that they're using are, are kind of general and vague. They're problem solving their analytical skills, and those are the necessary skills for a curriculum of the future that we haven't yet come across, but we can prepare our kids to be analytical and problem solvers, comfortable working in group settings, and um, really getting at um, how to resolve issues. We were very honored to have uh, Mark White uh, make a recommendation of one of our teachers to go to Washington, D.C., where we'll be uh, attending uh, some more training, and, and it's a big conference and it was really fantastic to have, it's an honor to have our teacher. She was the only middle school teacher that was selected to go. She will be presenting um, on you know, her, her uh, experience through the process and what has worked for her and what she has done. I think the purpose is to share um, in the learning process 
and to have other teachers um, see that it's possible to reach that goal. The second initiative that we are implementing at our campus is called Sidelets. This is a really um, research-based uh, group of strategies and we have a consultant that comes as well, does walkthroughs through the class, provides feedback as to how our teachers are doing with regards to their implementation of those strategies. Uh, it's different from other techniques that we've used in the past or other philosophies or initiatives to help our EL students, our English learners, and those strategies are part of a repertoire of things that you can constantly be implementing in your classroom to bridge for kids. So it's much more palatable because um, the strategies are easy to use and you get a lot of immediate feedback and positive um, responses from your students. First of all, to accept that they're not coming in with a deficit because they speak Spanish, they have an additional language and that's very beneficial that the students start seeing themselves as having a plus instead of a minus. And we're going to build upon their language skills and learn another language because we find great value in being a, a school and a community that can speak two languages. One of the new things when I came to this campus that was very impressive is that we are one-to-one, -one, meaning that at any given time, every single student can have a Chromebook in their hands doing uh, research or using technology to enhance their learning. More parents would be very proud to know that uh, we are providing that level of education to their children. So we do have a one-to-one -one here and our teachers are really good about working in the technology because you don't want to just use technology for the sake of technology. It has to have a, a purpose. It has to be connected to the learning. How is it enhancing it? Is it engaging the students? And they do a great job of doing that. That's the feedback we got from ICLE. That's what we see. We have evidence through our walkthroughs that our teachers are incorporating um, and using the technology to enhance whatever skill it is that they want their students to learn. They, we have Google Classrooms. We do all of our stuff through Google Classrooms. Using technology, the kids are already engaged because they're not, you know, doing the wah 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 that Charlie Brown's teacher does. So they're all into the lesson, but there is a genuine interest in the part of the teachers to connect with their kids. And uh, you know they don't see their students as just um, an audience. They interact with them. And I think like maybe older generations, there's that fear that technology is a barrier to communication. And it can be, definitely. You have to have limitations to that. But the way that we're using it just opens the world to them because they can access all kinds of virtual information. There are so many things that make this school unique. Um, I think somebody who visits the school will first be impressed that it's a country school, but it doesn't look like a country school. It's yes, even our, our um, you know our travel is uh, at least 15 minutes to come out here, and we're so so close to the border. Um, that presents a, a, a different kind of um, I think mentality and preparation because our students travel farther. You drive up and you just see this enormous facility. The culture out here, you know, um, we have an amazing facility, but the culture, I keep coming back to the kids because they're so looking for the, the, the bonds and connections with their teachers. And so that makes us really great across the board. They do well in academics. They do well in athletics. Um, I hear that some of the greatest football players come out of Riverside. <laughs> and I like to say that because, you know, uh, I have a lot of pride in, in our athletes. What is unique about Riverside? Everything is unique about Riverside. Um, the kids are really amazing though and they drive the school. Uh, I, I, I would be remiss if I didn't mention our wonderful staff. Um, you know, we do have uh, feedback that tells us that our teachers are doing exactly what they need to be doing and every year we get better.